Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it is your boy Zell here, and I hope we're all in a ten lands. That sounded a lot better than <laughs> in my head when it came out. You may remember me from that hit show, you thought you could lance. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Right, let's just play it. So let's say you're a bit cautious at getting close to the monster and you'd like to hide behind a near impenetrable wall while you hack away at your target, occasionally doing sick jump attacks. You want something no? that's mm. simple to learn but hard to master and has quite the yeah. bit of utility despite its initial simple nature. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but this isn't the Sword and Shield Guide. I'm showing off the pokey stick. Welcome to a crap guide to Monster Hunter. I'm getting educated here. The lance I do is feel the closest thing smarter. Monster Hunter has to a tank class. And although its blocking abilities aren't nearly as good as the sword and shields, it is capable of keeping you solidly planted and unmoved by some of the heaviest attacks the new world can throw at you. Though you cannot kick from the guarding position, you can do something almost as good. That is, by pressing the right face button from behind the shield, you can activate a counter that actually works. No, I'm not still salty about the long sword, shut up. And even if you don't get attacked before the counter timer is up, you'll throw a powerful lunge like some insecure nice guy sending insults to a girl who didn't immediately respond to his 3 a.m. text message. You can also poke from behind the shield, but you you didn't join the commission just so you could hide from the monster, that's what the ranged weapons are for. Your primary moveset consists of various different flavors of pokes, so get that side slap shit out of here. We're hard and coming to thrust fast and penetrate any cracks in any monster's thick hide. You can do a combination of low or high thrusts up to three consecutive times, as well as a short hop in the cardinal directions for the same amount. Just try to remember the rule of three. I personally remind myself by chanting the names of the Powerpuff Girls. No, it's not weird, but the unanimously agreed upon objectively best move in the Lance's arsenal is the dash attack. By pressing both attack buttons while blocking, you start rolling around at the speed of sound. Forget trotting around the arena like a peasant while wielding this oversized spear, it's time to travel in style. And to top it all off, it's the perfect way to rack up damage on that monster that's desperately reaching for its life alert. Your job is to get into the thick of things with your comically massive lance thrusting might. This thing is a gentleman's weapon, oozing with confidence and precision. It's strong and functional without trying to be overly flashy like its half gun counterpart. And if you ever find yourself in an arena with mirroring climbing spots, the monster best remember its safe word because it's time for non-stop non -stop rapid, rapid fire, fire penetrating action. And now you know how to use the lance. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, really? That's... I quite like the lance. I gotta admit, I quite like the lance. I like the lance a lot. I used to play tank. I, I used to play tank in Overwatch. So maybe it's similar to that. It's probably nothing like it. It's probably nothing like it. <laughs> probably nothing like it. 